Hey guys, Denis Kozor here. In this video I want to show you how to work with light mix in Corona Render. First of all, you need to correctly set up every light in your scene. You need to give them proper name, proper intensity. And now I want to show you how I set up these lights and what I create with them. First of all, I advise you to select all lights in your scene. For example, you can select like this, lights, Control A. And then in the isolation mode, hotkey Alt Q, disable them all like this, so they doesn't work anymore. If you have any light materials, you also need to disable them. This and this. Okay. And uh, now let's check it out. In the settings on the scene tab, I have only HDRI map that look like this and uh, if i start interactive render i get this kind of scenario i have only beauty and alpha channel light mix disabled and um, next i need to check other lights so i will disable environment light enable for example spotlights let me make it smaller okay turn it on and uh, i'm pretty happy with the result that they give me working alone this is very important thing every light should have a mission if you understand their mission you can adjust them lately in light mix if you will randomly place random intensity for the random amount of light light mix doesn't help you next when i decide that this amount is okay because if it will be just only one i will not have so much power to increase them up to this number so for me you need to have some kind of balance maybe 100 is too much for this scene or maybe it is enough only practical experience can give you this understanding so i advise to make them with enough power to work alone next i will turn off them and turn on another kind of light for example this turn it on i think it is enough for me to light up this scene by using only this light okay i can move on next i have materials and here little stripe objects it's just a simple line with extrude for minus one centimeter and uh, let me show you how it looks i assign material on it we'll turn it on and it look like this why i apply normal modifier because if i don't it will be direction outside and uh, it will burn the wall that close with him if i apply this normal it now appears only in the inner part and from here everything looks all right so when i check every light in the scene i can move on and turn every light how you can check do you enable all lights or not when you click stop corona light mix let's discuss it here you can add hidden lights if you wish i don't very important include in denoising or your render will be with a large amount of noise then you have instance lights and look how much memory it needs for only six or ten lights if you have much more more memory will be needed so i press generate and i want to say that before we add light mix we have only beauty and alpha channel now if I start interactive render, first of all, I get light mix tab on and here I have render element for each kind of light and these are dark. This means that I forget to turn them on. So I can go, for example, to Fortune main light and uh, turn it on. And if I start interactive render again, it will be turned on. And uh, you need to do this with each kind of light. Now let's take a look how we can add them manually. I will delete them all. Now interactive is working, but without any light mix. So to add them back, I press add, then select light mix. And here apply bloom and apply glare. I need them. 
then add another and for example let's make environment i give a name environ and uh, here i include environment light apply denoising include environment means that you include environment light it's very logical but you doesn't need to tick it for another light and denoise you need for all kind of light here i need to turn on environment and we can check it up now we have light mix and only environment because i doesn't add any other lights so i will add render element light select and for example i want to add this group of spots i will select them all and press this plus button apply denoising very important and then you can name it okay now i have group of spotlight but i need to turn them on and it's work now the same kind of thing you do with the other lights and then press render when your render is done i recommend you to save as cxr and it give you ability to work with the render even when 3d max closed down so when i render it i have every pass with denoise so let's see how they looks like this and uh, it's okay for this time i want to separate these lights so i just delete this setup light mix again and make individual lights generate and everything okay now how we can use this light mix i suggest you to select one of the light for example environment on the post you can adjust contrast you can add vignette filmic shadows if you wish and then add some lut for example after that you go to light mix toggle all to turn them on and then you select something for example it can be environment and i want to add some more interesting elements i have let stripe on the top for example i can make it not so hot and because i make them all with white color I can change it to every color that I wish because it have so much intensity I can use only this kind of light and make environment darker like this or maybe I like this effect who knows I can then make it very dark and maybe more pinkish kind of light like this or maybe like that it all depends on your needs maybe you want to make dark night and it will be something like this so it barely see and then you can turn on another light for example this and it can be cold or something like neon lights and make it less intense i can decrease intense for this kind of light maybe 25 25 and uh, after that i can turn on this fortune light with another color that i wish to give maybe i can also turn on this it's too much power so i will decrease it to maybe like this and create something like that i have also ceiling spotlight that can be enabled here and um, let's for example save this kind of story then i can disable or enable some kind of light like this yes for example let's make this to be turned on and make him call like this now if i like it i can save it i can save light mix reset and use it again or save as an image here just choose jpeg or png i can load previous for example this or i can try that and as you can see we get so much power and uh, creativity with this tool so you just need to remember check every light give them right amount of intensity so you can use them separately in the post process and give them correct names if you want more this kind of tutorials knowledges and you wish to know not only every technical aspect of using corona render but also how to be creative how to unleash your creativity 
join me on Patreon. There I explain every button in Corona Render how it works. I create step-by-step -step tutorials with every step explained why I use it how it works so if you want to boost up your skill check link in the description and see you in the next videos bye